Uh, oh, well, Morphling's we'll actually... first blood uh, action uh, happening bottom. You know, there. sometimes it's 1v5. <laughs> and Come you're on, just, man. You're just a, you know, just poor one. Oh my god, after all of that, trying to give the kill to Ori, Bobica is just like, eh, whatever, I'll take it. <laughs> this is high-level gameplay, Good everybody. Luck. And he's getting away with it, so... Hmm. Ooh. Missed the harpy though. We've got mid action lane? behind the tier one tower in the mid lane though. They're going on to nice, dust here nice. by the looks of it. Storm Spirit getting melted down by Ori's level six, and once again the Storm versus Leshrac matchup in the mid lane. Wink and probably find a kill alongside the Leshrac on the Storm before he gets level six. They get the Phoenix as well, but uh, the Storm Spirit's going to be the important one once he moves up into the triangle. And it's probably going to happen uh, after he kills these two creeps mid. But he hasn't been able to pressure the tier one tower in the mid lane yet either. Mm. Nice try, Easy Phoenix, one. but might be regretting oh. this one. That is not the rune he wanted him to get. Oh, dearie me. Storm, though, jumping in, looking for a bit of revenge on this, but won't really be able to make anything happen, unfortunately. It's such a weak support uh, in the tree. It's, such a... it's true. Oh, it's it's just as passive, passive there. Yeah, it's so weird. Everything else in the game has some like weird ass name. It's great. They're gonna ult oh, for this top right lane. on top lane, Brewmaster. Well, unless he gets chain stunned, which it's looking like he's gonna be okay. Wow. A little bit of too defensive there on the side of Aster, holding those spells a little bit too long. They do manage to take he, the Phoenix. They know exactly what they're up to. Brewmaster's gonna come to this one regardless, and he doesn't have his ultimate. Bane gonna be the target of this. He gets bought down very quickly. Indeed, the Supernova's out as well. Brewmaster, he needs to get off this ulti, but well, he doesn't actually have it. It's still on cooldown, so it's just gonna be a sad death for XXS. Asta getting torn apart once again here, and the middle tower belongs to Magma as they uh, race over towards yeah, Ori here, but uh, not sure about this one. Does get off the overgrowth in the very last second of his life there, and that's going to allow them to kill off Ori. Meanwhile, the backline's Mercy does get taken down. This, this does give them a lot easier access to Magma's side of the map, so the game gets a lot easier once this mid-tier one's down, they do manage to find it. I look at this game, and I'm like trying to figure out the way back into it for... Uh, the side of magma but it just doesn't feel like morphlings it's yeah unfortunate doesn't feel like most at the moment because then you have like uh 200 percent uptime on the ability you're able to really drop it onto two targets Phoenix, but oh they catch dust instead that's a huge Even better he bkb as well thinking he was gonna live yeah um i'm not crazy about this phoenix build he's just going straight refresher uh, we see this every so often inside the region. Yeah, we are talking about during the draft, they don't have an amazing way of getting on top of this egg and popping uh, just Supernova, but... Still no grip for another 50 seconds, which means a Pangolier will be free to do what he wants in this fight. As Dust jumps in, immediately looking over towards Ori. Can they take him down? The Nightmare comes through. Ori's going to use himself up, trying to survive through this fight. Do they have the damage? Yes, they do. The Goat is dead. 35, 75 seconds without a Leshrac. This could be a real opportunity for Roosh here for Magma. He's got no buyback. Storm has found the Lesh. This is huge. Freaking. Yeah, nice Yules. Pepe left. <laughs> you're, a, you're, you're an angry man today, Ricky. <laughs> Everything okay? I know, I, like, the, he grieves his game you? so hard. I, like, he grieves his hate. It's a little bit bizarre because you don't have somebody behind you to top it like a save the enemy just blow you up that's exactly what's happening in this game yep. if you don't get the item to save yourself like a bkb it's even harder yeah he's just fine he can reassemble this whenever he needs very master all right has the end this now Being just delivered up. dude they're just getting ran over in their base monet is dead as well this is crazy is this enough man they're pretty deep storm has absolutely no mana Refresh there comes the egg. Monet tearing people apart right now. He's got himself the double kill. 
and uh, kind of forcing Magma... Popping the, uh, the Supernova over by the racks a lot less effective because Aster's just sort of able to like wait, come back, and do it again another couple seconds, but obviously they don't have that option when they have limited time to defend the Roshan. Storm's in, finds the Bane. Ready to start the fight. They do have overgrowth, and there's going to be the egg holding down that Templar assassin. She does get the BKB off, but just chased in pursuit. It's going to be the damage from the Morphling more than enough to help finish her off. So double kill goes away of him. Going to buy back on both and try and get themselves back in this fight. Mercy does have that refresher plus a second egg to work with. The Pangolier held down TZY, swashbuckles away, but still ends up losing his life in the process. Mercy now the next target. In the sights here as XXS continues to chase, he's gonna go ahead and pop that refresher dive instead. Looks like he's Ooh. gonna be fine. Nobody wants to let this fight go. No one wants to let this Roche go. Both teams know how important this is. It's for not have to worry about, uh, you know, committing to an objective while the supernova goes off. Let's back up again, though. Yeah, Bush, I'll come to the dust. Oh my god, what a setup. So much damage. Monet. BKB blinked up to the high ground. He's safe. Can they actually bring down Storm? Oh my, oh my gosh, God. they do. Two hero bushwhack into a two hero split earth. He will buy back though, so Storm is ready to come back into this fight. They know that uh, this next Roshan probably wins the game. Pango held in place. Dust two hero vortex. Does he have the follow up damage? He doesn't have electric rave yet. Oh boy. They, they needed everyone they could get. Every buyback they could possibly get, they needed in that fight. So, yeah, very, very disappointing not to have the Morphling come back into that one. Might cost them the game in the end, unfortunately, as they jump forward here looking for the Phoenix. He's going to get taken down under his own tier fours. There is no mercy for mercy from the side of Asta as they now march up the high ground looking for the Tinder. Just a little oh, my Red Panda Lord. jump in, Sorry. split again. <laughs> Uh, by the way, he can do this six times if he wants. He's got a refresher orb and a refresher shard, but meanwhile, the fight's breaking out of the front lines here as Dusk trying to find his way to some supports, but they're just not making themselves viable targets right now. Ori taking some heavy hits as Amorphic runs him down to the front lines. Ori needs some help. Is he going to get it? The cheese comes off cooldown, and he's going to get a little bit of help. Back they turn on the Morphling. What are you doing? Morphling gets caught out, and now he's going to have to buy back into this fight as Dusk comes charging on through there, but they've lost DZY as well. Us trying to play around this one, but those silencing traps just so annoying for him. And they'll take the last lane of barracks here. That's going to be mega creeps. If they want to come into this game, it's going to be very, very hard. And now the Morphling caught just on the edge of that stun. Dust trying to make something happen, trying to save his Morphling, but it's just not going to happen. Bai Yi is dead, and it looks like the Storm Spirit is going to follow as well. And there's your GG's coming out. Aster, take game number one of Team Magma in 46 minutes. Not the cleanest win, but they'll take it. Troy's the centaur. You, you got the disable this time. You got the shadow shaman. Last time the issue is the phoenix. Sure, man. They are good. on the case right now, and they are going to be able to bring down dust, and that'll be a first blood. Nice rotation in from PQ as they are able to. Dust potentially in a little bit of trouble. Acorn shot and bushwhack are both up. Flame Guard in five seconds. Dust is dead. Mercy might be in similar trouble. He does finally level up the snowball here. Is it going to be enough to save him though? He's actually just choosing to back himself away. And Damage. Nope. Or he's basically a lot of act for level ten or for level six, level ten. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the man is having an incredibly good game. Yeah. I was looking at his stick. His stick was at ten charges. Is, is why that's where the ten came from. <laughs> Ooh. Still level 5 on XSS. Uh, Kazzy comes in for the gank, but it turns around he is the one, in fact, being ganked. Oh, oh look at that bushwhack as well. Three heroes tied to one tree. I'll put that one. Uh, is super dead. He, maybe this this guy's he want, he's, he's, he's horny, I'll say that. <laughs> he really wanted that kill. And they are going to get it. Was was it worth it, guys? Uh, not oh, no did way, he he's got earn. He's just going to get chased down. He's, he's a little bit dead. Wait. Evoca, okay, yeah, he got him. He's a six now. Is he gonna offer this one just to yes, dive underneath to. the tower? He might not even have to. Yeah. yeah just, oh my uh, god, look at him. Look at him switching between. He wouldn't have uh, gone down there. That is so rough for Ori. He's having a great game prior to dying like that. Bottom lane. 
Oh, they're looking for the Ursa here. Bai might be in some trouble, and he certainly is. Boca takes him out with the sharpshooter. Snowball out from Mercy here. They're looking for a bit of revenge. They're going to go on to Piki once again here. They want this Grimstroke. I'm not sure they're able to finish him off here, though. The jump comes through from Dustin. He will get the kill. Mercy is going to die at the same time, though. And I'm not sure Dustin's getting out. It's out of mana, out of health. Uh, point to Shackles and then Walrus Punch. They could kill him here. They're Let's going see. to try to kill him here. <laughs> they He's got all just are, now. <laughs> Ooh, Deja Thunder through out. here. Pinned against the wall against the, with a pango. Oh, oh he gets my it off. gosh. He Literally gets it HP. off. Unbelievable. And now in comes the Grimstroke. Ready for the cleanup crew. They want to take down TZY. I mean, they kind of need to take him down. Otherwise, Access will die regardless. But they have the damage to do so. They get the kill. The tower did take a beating in the meanwhile. But that Brewmaster surviving some way, somehow he makes it out. That consistently is... run in Aster. Now they're missing a mid tower. Eris is getting chased out of his triangle. Uh, they found dust again. Oh, no. That's bad. That's very, very bad. I mean, there's no space for him right now. He's got to, like, be sitting in these really weird places while Ursa farms the only safe areas of the map because they control so little. And this is prior to him getting his BKB, and they can right now. Arcane Rune for Storm. Ooh, he is going to get caught by the tether, XSS. Yeah, they'll just settle for the tusk here. Yeah. Bobica with another snipe. Definitely an op main. Ooh, Shadow Shaman. It's a D ward, but I'm gonna pay for this one with his life, it seems. BKB nook. Unfortunately, Ursa and Shadow Shaman are about to die. Mm, the Ursa has in rage at least. The Shaman is certainly dead. Wait, maybe not. Pressure going on to the Ursa right now, so they'll just throw him up into the air, and this is the biggest problem with Ursa versus Brew. He pops that in rage, you just throw him in the air, and they will kill him off. But the Shaman does a surprise, yeah, it's yeah, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm a man. Meta culture, I see. Absolutely. <laughs> This might be a fun one. I do like the rock as well, just setting up Burning Barrage. But anyway, TZY jumping into the pit. He's going for the plays right now. They want to interrupt this Roshan attempt. Will they be able the to do so? The two heroes held to a tree, getting beaten on down. Oh my goodness, it is looking brutal right now. The poor old team Magma is Astro just turning them inside out in all the ways you don't want to be turned inside out. TZY is somehow blinking to the... What the no, all right, whatever. He gets himself away. Or he's on top of him, though. They're going to be able to finish this guy off. And that's going to be another kill going the way of Team Astro. They are looking like a totally different team team coming into game number two here. They're not willing to give Magma even the slightest bit of chance of fighting up into them as they take down three heroes. Secure them. Oh no. This is the worst place Kazi could be. A little bit kamikaze there the BKB perhaps. off, but can he actually do the damage take down the Grimstroke? It looks like he will. Out of mana, the He's chase mana. continues. Oh, the Searing Chains! The Tusk can't save him! Oh He's no. Dead. Corey now looking to finish the job with this double damage rune, but uh, the Ursa, he does respect that here as TZY comes rolling on through, but Ori is just doing whatever he wants, spamming out these sleight of fists, grabbing the kills, running back in here. Can he get the rampage? I'm not sure he can. There's still two kills to go, but there's one. TZY on the run. Can they chase him down? The GG is oh, cool, the and then hoping to be able to grab TZY for the rampage on Mr. Ori, but all the same. A short, sharp defeat. 22 minute GG called out from Team Magma. Oh my goodness, that was an absolute obliteration. What a masterpiece.